Hello, everyone. How are you today? So um, today's topic is about on page SEO. So to give you an example, you're a small business or a property manager, and you're kind of putting all this content out there, but you're discovering that you're not being found. Um, you're not getting website clicks or phone calls and, and the content that you're putting out there is not showing up in the search engines. So performing good on page SEO for your website means making it easy for Google to crawl through your site and love your content and then rank it. Um, so, so giving attention, you know, it's not giving much attention to the backlinks or other off page factors. When, when you have great on page SEO, you can rank without links for some instances, but if you have poor on page um, SEO, that won't help you rank no matter how good your, your link building is. And so Ryan, they always talk about how um, content is king <laughs> and content, you know, um, when people say content is king, they're not wrong, but what they might not realize is that content is king because of on-page SEO optimization. Are you there, Ryan? Oh, hang on. I got it. So I think, can you hear me? Yep. Okay. So content is king to the extent that it's, it's valuable content. So, and, and to the extent that it's being found, so those, those are two different things. Okay. So I want to point out the fact that, you know, content is king as long as it's A, valuable, and B, is as long as it's able to be found. And in order to make sure that it's able to be found, you've got to speak the language of Google, Bing, and Yahoo, the, 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 the directories. Because if you do, and, and YouTube for that matter, if you're creating video content, which, you know, there's a real opportunity to, and I want to point out the fact that if you really want to just kick it off a whole notch, what you want to do is, is, is combine the two like we do. So we create videos like we're doing right now, and then we create a blog post out of the video. So we keyword optimize the video to the same keyword that we focus on for the blog. And that gives you immediate Google bonus points right there in and of itself. Because if you upload the video to YouTube, and you embed that YouTube video on the blog post and you keyword optimize that video towards the same keyword that blog post is, is keyword optimized for, then that's, that's what we call good on-page optimization. On-page meaning it's on the page that you're trying to get people to find. Off-page means all of the other stuff that you're doing that's not on the page. That would be like backlinks from other businesses to your business that's going to help you rank better in Google. Okay. The more links that you have, it's like, I always say, I, the analogy I use is like, you know, Google is that, is that big, you know, that big trunk, the big Google, my business is like your tree. Okay. And the more roots that you have, those links being like roots in your root system for a tree, the more likely it is that that tree is going to grow fuller and stronger and healthier and bear more fruit, which is ultimately leads and phone calls. That's the best analogy I can give you. So think of Google My Business as being that tree. And part of the, where on-page optimization fits in this is, is you, that tree, because what happens is, is when your website or your page that you're associating with your Google My Business page is ranking higher, then that's one of the top five factors for whether or not your Google My Business page on the maps is going to show up on the maps. Okay. Very, very important. That is probably as a, as a small business and even a medium or large size business, probably the most important place that you can show up is on the maps. Because if you show up on the maps organically with your website below that, and then in the ad section, and you have a video all on the first page for your main keyword in your city, that's, that's, uh, that's the quad secta. <laughs> that's, that's like the ultimate. And so on page optimization fits into this, um, into this whole analogy that I use of the tree and that, and that basically you, you know, if you don't do on page optimization, you're not even going to really have, you know, that the tree is just not going to be healthy. Okay. So you want to make sure that, that, that on page optimization is really done well and you can do little things. And if you want more information about this, there's a lot of, there's, there's about 
seven to 12 different factors that you want to make sure are in place for your blog in order to make sure that you're able to effectively do on-page optimization. And we'll give you those. If you want, you can connect with us um, at m.me forward slash accelerate marketing. That's m.me forward slash accelerate marketing. And by the way, like Crystal was saying, if you don't do this, you're going to spend a lot of time, a lot of effort, and you're just not going to get the results that you want in terms of phone calls. And in, it's just, you're not going to be found on Google. And, um, and you're also not going to be found on YouTube. And that's going to lead to you getting frustrated about even doing content marketing and you're going to give up and you're going to miss out on a big opportunity to, to generate long-term inbound phone calls like we are able to, we're generating for Empire Industries. It takes a little while. It's the, I, I always like to play the tortoise hare as opposed to the hare race, you know, like the tortoise, the tortoise um, race. So it's like, it takes a little bit more time and effort and it's a little bit slower and continual. But ultimately, when you get there, you're going to, it's just like, you just continue to get those leads over and over and over again. And it's, and that's one of the greatest things about optimizing your blog is that just like optimizing your videos is that that is the gift that keeps on giving, you know, it just, it just keeps on giving those, those leads and those phone inbound phone calls. So, and there's other, there's other tools that I would recommend and that I can where that we can point you in the direct in the direction of, of what to use um, that will help you really, uh, especially if you've got a WordPress website that will help you like it's literally paint by numbers. It's like a it's like a stop sign. It tells you if the blog post is keyword optimized or not. It's a tool that we use, and um, we'll let you know what that is if you just if you just contact us directly and just type in I want to know the tool. You know, type in the comment. You know, let it let me know the tool that you use for you know for WordPress or and and also let you know you can type in you know let me know the seven you know um, you know if you're not using WordPress you know what are the what are the seven things I want to be aware of when I'm actually optimizing, you know, my blog post. And I'll tell you a couple of them. Number one, you want to make sure that you know the keyword that you're targeting and really just target one or two keywords. And then make sure that keyword is used in the title of the blog post, that it's used in the first paragraph, and then it's used about 2% of the overall number of words that you're typing that, that, you, that you've used to create that, that blog post, okay? And you also want to make sure that you use the keyword in the alt images and the alt tags for the images that you're that you're creating, and also any embedded videos that you like YouTube video as well. Um, you know, there's uh, the other thing is is you want to make sure that you put it in the category maybe that is uh, that keyword as well. Um, so those are some of the, the some of the things that you can do. But there's a tool, like I said, that we use that will make your life a whole lot easier. So and if you want any more answers to anything else, you know, any other questions. Again, just connect with us. We'll respond to you within 15 minutes um, right after this video and then within 24 hours if it's any, any time within a half an hour after this video. Yeah, thanks, Ryan. <laughs> you yeah. pretty much answered all the questions that I was going to ask you in regards to um, is keywords, does keywords uh, matter and also content length, which seems to be a lot of a discussion back and forth between a lot of individuals and experts as far as um, does content length really matter? And, and it does. And so, um, those were my questions for you today. Um, let me see. And then of course, if they want to know the tools, let us know. So looks like we've, we got it covered. <laughs> um, okay. My, just to let everyone know that's watching as well, Monday through Friday, we're live sharing successful strategies with you on how to become the go-to business in your niche. And so this week we're talking about local SEO. Next week is Google My Business. The week after that is um, online reviews. And we may throw in yeah. um, CRM here um, in the discussion as well, because they notice there's a lot of questions um, in that realm of things as well. Um, so, yeah, and, if, and, and I think also, if, you know, the other thing I want to point out is if anybody wants to get training on any of this, on any of these topics, we do offer training. We are digital marketer certified partners. So, you know, for $97 a month, um, there's 11 different, you know, certifications that you can get. If you want to get a certification, it's $997, uh, to get the certification and to, um, and to get access to that content. 
uh, for six months so that you can actually take the certification. Um, or you can just pay monthly, $97, um, for as long as you want to get access to, um, one of the certifications. And, um, and yeah, that's, that's a really great way to go. If you really, if you're a small business owner, I would highly recommend, I mean, if, if, you know, the best way to do this stuff is to really understand the vernacular, understand the, the language. And there's no faster way than to, um, you know, take like, for example, the customer value optimization um, certification, you know, I mean, that's, it's just invaluable. I mean, to, to take that and understand that as a business owner, then you can start speaking the language of your marketing people and at least understand what they're saying and, um, and set the, the trajectory for your company in terms of marketing based on solid, sound, foundational principles. And, and that's uh, what I wish I would have had, you know, 10 years ago. So if you have any questions about, you know, the certifications, just type that in the comments below as well. And, um, and we'll answer those questions and, and point you in the right direction for that. So. Yes, I'm, I'm typing that in the comments below. <laughs> so type in right. certification. Um, okay. And, and, and by the way, I, I think it's also important to let people know that we go live daily on Facebook, on our Facebook page. And, okay. um, and, and eventually, you know, and we do actually post to our, this content to our YouTube channel. Um, and yeah, I mean, so yeah, it's, it's at yeah, 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Awesome. Yep. Create a great rest of your day, everyone. <laughs>